The Questions Queries podcast. You talked about your teachers. Yeah. Um, and so I can only really relate it to martial arts, I suppose, because there's a real like lineage structure. Yeah, man. And that's something that I know quite well. Yeah. Does that exist within barbering as well? Yes. And Hedris? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. And so in term, do you know your lineage beyond the people that taught you? Actually, no, I don't. Mm. And I think that would be a really fascinating thing to kind of dig around and find out where so-and-so begat so-and-so and so-and-so begat so-and-so. That part of Genesis is just really, really long. <laughs> that puts you to sleep every time you read it. Um, barbering lineage or hairdressing lineage would actually be a fascinating topic, and I probably would like to dig more into that. Because mm, it's like, well, like anthropology almost. It is, yeah. 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 And so... Is there is there a general one though? Is there a general like these styles sort of evolved in one place? Like I suppose America would be the big one for the styles that you kind of. In in terms of barbering, like America is the biggest player. Um, mm. I think we the world owes a lot to American traditional barbering, and how that all originated. Um, they were kind of the pioneers in terms of how to cut hair that particular way, um, and. You know, we're even talking like around Prohibition times where a lot of those styles we're actually harking back to now. Man, they did it. They did it all back then. They did it flawlessly. And we're talking with like hand clippers. These are clippers that you have to squeeze together to get each single movement. They just, that's that's what they used. And it was crazy. It looked mm. amazing. Mm. Um, You talked about the red and white barb pole. Yeah. And now it's red, white and blue, correct? Yeah, it is red, white and blue. So what changed? um they wanted to do a nod to patriotism so it was like the right just the american flag. yeah so it, it originally used to be red and white this was um back in the day when barbers or what was referred to as uh, tonsorials yeah were um minor surgeons so we used to take care of teeth pulling doing stitches bloodletting all that kind of stuff as well as cutting hair uh like leeches wow crazy eh? yeah yeah i know so it's got a pretty unique history behind it and then it later on just became specialists of cutting hair and shaving and occasionally unblocking people's uh clogged pores and things like that which is less so nowadays no have you ever had to do that uh no i just do it on myself or like my wife loves to do it she that's it she gets in there on is, that stuff. what is that what is that about females that love to groom because it's just like it's universal i don't know is that because we originally descend from primates long long time ago and we uh, like to uh pete the world is twelve thousand years old oh just hate to burst your bubble there mate all right shout out to my lord and savior jesus christ <laughs> um